Hello and welcome back for another episode of Surviving Mars! Where today's name of the game is we want to get our production up and running. And then we're kind of just going to deal with some miscellaneous tax tasks around the base. Uh, one thing we are going to do, I'm going to get our whatever those are called going again. Our GHG factories. So we got four of them out here. Uh, I couldn't really decide where I wanted to put them so I figured we're probably not going to be building out here anytime soon. So for now that's going to be their new home and they're nice and close to the fuel. And they're still in range of this guy so he can deal with maintenance. So that'll get uh, our temperature going again. The other thing I did want to do, um, I wanted to get the atmosphere going, but we don't have, we still haven't unlocked the tech. So that kind of sucks. So we need to fish for, we either need more unlocks or we need to start fishing this column to try and find it. Because it'd be nice to get that guy up and going as well. Because it needs waste rock, and we have an abundance of waste rock kicking around right now. So far as far as I know, there's only two things you can do with waste rock. They're both late game. One is the atmosphere machine that makes atmosphere. Uh, the other thing is you can do that liquefaction, uh, this thing, which turns it into concrete. So I don't think we really need to turn it into concrete because we still got patches of concrete all over the place, at least for now anyway. So we might as well put it towards the atmosphere because Getting our atmosphere is going to really help out. It's going to boost our wind turbines. It's also going to boost the moxies. And it'll get rid of dust storms and meteor storms eventually. So, super helpful. A um, couple maintenance items though. I wanted to put a... I'm going to put a space bar in here. Okay, so that, that math doesn't make sense. But whatever. <laughs> uh, we'll deal with that later. Uh, down here, what I did want to do, is this dome, we only have 25 people working right now. So I think what I'm going to do, we're actually going to cut the service shifts down to just one person. Uh, yeah, we'll even, we'll do the medic too. Because if we cut all these down to one person, it'll give us some extra workers. And uh, we definitely want to get this guy up and running. And in that regard, we're going to go to... Apparently we have 10 more applicants back on Earth, so we're going to go grab them and get them en route, because that will give us some more people to start running this stuff. And otherwise, we can pretty much just hit play and let them do their swarm. <laughs> Locusts. <laughs> this is what I mean by the wasp drones. I love the way they just like swarm things. I figure this is because it doesn't seem like we're actually going to be moving and anytime soon because we can keep expanding fuel this way we can keep doing power this way we got a crap ton of rare metal sitting here now so we can get a dome if not two domes going over here we can do one for the rare metal and then we also need a research dome we're also going to need a kid dome at some point and probably a tourism zone too but Part of me kind of want to, wants to hold off on tourism. I'd love to get it going because you can start getting money. But I don't like just slapping it down. <laughs> In fact, what I like to do is use the wonders. Um, I'll usually build a one, one of these wonders and then kind of build the tourism around it. Makes it kind of fun so they have something to come see when they come here. Oh yeah, another thing, I'm going to switch the graphics on these. Purely from an audio standpoint. If you leave them as these, there's only one running, but you hear that banging? That like you can constantly hear that anytime you're near this dome, and it drives me absolutely bonkers. So we're just gonna switch the graphics on them so I don't have to listen to that constant banging in my head. So we definitely need to get research going soon. Our 1K a day isn't cutting it anymore. Actually, our power is not cutting it anymore either. Apparently, more power. We also need to get batteries going, but they're researching right now, so they should hopefully get going soon. In fact, let's just, we're going to uber boost our power here, because we're going to need it. And those will still all get scrubbed, so let's go land you in the field again. That'll get us some extra jobs. 
well, not jobs. We have lots of jobs. We need people to fill those jobs. <laughs> you know what I mean. And we still have two extra slots. I'm not sure what we're going to do with them yet, but it leaves us options at least. I'm sure there's probably a magical ratio of stuff that you put into these to keep everybody happy, but I don't know what it is. Uh, how's our scanning looking? It's getting pretty slim pickings. In fact, we only need two more tiles. And then we get scan all sectors. Scan all sectors. Uh, we're also going to amplify and do magnetic extraction. No, because we don't have any electronics. Man, we need electronics. Do we still have another rocket? Yeah, we do. Ugh. God, we need to make these things. They are so expensive. <laughs> that or we need some money. We should almost... How much extra living space do we have right now? Still 40 living space. We could almost bring a tourist rocket. Bring a load of tourists. They'll just have to hang out in our living domes, but... We'll get money for it. And we have the space that we can just temporarily hold them for now until they leave. Let's send this guy back, so we might grab tourists with him. Second Come on, you bastards. We need to get this stuff running. Do we have any rare metals yet? Oh, we have rare metals. Turn this on. What's the maintenance on this? Machine parts, so that's okay. That's machine parts, too. Man. Oh shit, we're out of machine parts. Uh oh. Alright, turn that back off. Let's turn this on instead. <laughs> uh, put an extra shift. Can we amplify that? No. Crap! Hey, hey! We have bigger batteries now, finally. Um, let's get rid of this for now, let's get rid of this for now. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that one. Where's Amplify? Well, that's not Amplify, but that would also be useful. I also really want to get lasers. And there should be Amplify. Oh man, it's like way up here. Okay, do that first. That's like dirt cheap. I don't know why we haven't done that till now. Well, I guess we didn't have any production till now. <laughs> That'd be the logical conclusion there. Okay, so we'll get that. We'll get Amplify. Then we'll get the secondary buff, and then we'll get some lasers. Um, let's get rid of that for now. We'll get. I still want to get universities. I should probably queue this up, actually. We're only going to get a benefit from it in the beginning here. So, I guess, sure. Okay. That's your new build order. Go to it. We gotta start making some changes around here. Uh, this building's broken. Oh, this is quite bad. <laughs> we have like no resources. Oh, or money for that matter. A rocket is finally about to arrive because we desperately, desperately need electronics. We also desperately need machine parts, but. In a roundabout way. Actually, let's put this to high priority. That will get our machine part factory running again. So that hopefully we start getting machine parts. 
So we're gonna need that for maintenance. If everything starts breaking, we're in trouble. Are they taking it down there? Looks like they are. Quick! Fix the factory! Hey! You lazy SOBs. Oh! There goes one guy. Anyone else? Or did that guy have two with him? I don't think Sector he had. Scan. Oh, he did. Good job, little drone. Okay, that'll start getting us machine parts. As long as we don't completely nuke our electronics again here. Oh, fuck. Why was our water dipping? Drone hubs no longer require power or maintenance. Oh, that is nice. Oh, wow. Oh, that's going to be super handy, because these things are chewing electronics right now. We got three of them? We're going to have more soon, probably. Uh, I would like... 9,000. I don't care. Let's do that. That's going to save us a lot of electronics. You are a high priority now, my friend. We have jobs in here? No. For some reason our water dipped for a second there. I don't really know why. We're gonna wait till day shift starts. Cause I feel like it had something to do with the day. Man, we've already chewed we chewed through all the machine parts we made yesterday. We haven't even built this stuff out here yet. Yeah, they're all still waiting. Oh wow. Oh, that's bad. Um, what's something that uses a ton of power that we can turn off temporarily? You guys don't need to run until we get our power plants back up. Uh, what else can we turn off? Not really much else. Does that help? Helped a little bit. Can we get one of these built, please? Actually, you know what we could do? We have polymers. So if we upgrade that. Let's upgrade that. Actually, it only costs two to upgrade these. Just go upgrade them all. We got polymers to burn right now. That way we can get rid of this. We don't need that storage there anymore. Oh, I heard something kick in. Ah ha ha ha! Power's kicking in. Quick, fill the battery before the morning shift starts. Actually, do we have the? I think we have the bigger batteries. Those cost to build. Just polymers and concrete. Yeah, we're gonna build one of these guys. We'll put you. Yeah, whatever. We'll put you right in the middle. Okay, I think we're gonna go with triage here. I'm gonna turn off. We're gonna turn off the medi clinics for a bit. That'll free up a few more workers. So we got that place fully staffed. That place is fully staffed. How many of those are we using per day in maintenance? Six. So we're only getting three a day. That's kind of crappy. Uh, we should have enough to boot this guy now, though. Maybe. Uh, we need to repair it. We're just gonna take all our machine parts. <laughs> Come on, someone get some machine parts. Let's fix it. Uh, we're gonna open up the rest of the shift too. We'll let them trickle over. Though I really don't want you leaving that place. 
whatever. What are we making? One per soul? Yay! <laughs> We're moving up in the world. <laughs> yeah, our big crux right now is definitely people. Oh, we do have 12 children, though. They're starting to have births. That's good. That also means we're going to need a new dome soon. Or we should really get a new dome for kids. Mm. Uh, yeah, screw it. We're going to put... Let me get another dome going here. Let's connect you... To this. I also need power. Go to work, my minions. Because the quicker we get a kid dome up, uh, the quicker we can get. Ah, uh, schools. <laughs> uh, so it's going to basically give perks to children. So that when they grow up, hopefully they should have lots of perks. And it's a pretty easy dome to maintain because kids don't really need anything from what I've seen. And they're building this thing quick. We're chewing through our polymers pretty fast here too Sector though. Scan. Just I'm, I don't know what these anomalies give. Let's put anomalies. Let's see if we can get these anomalies again. I want to see if they get planetary anomalies, like if they're just the terraforming stuff or if they're actually anomalies. Because if they're actually anomalies, we could probably go get some resources. We just need to bring a rocket over real quick. Uh, so let's populate this guy. And... A tree. And the other thing they need is a... Playground. Okay, so the other thing we want to do... Uh, we'll let them start building that stuff. Oh, it paused the game anyway. So we want children. And then boot everyone else out. <laughs> Actually, we'll leave use as a neutral for now. Or wait, no, use can work. Yeah, no. Let's get them out of there too. It's only seniors that seniors and children, I think, are the only two that can't work. Speaking of which, we're gonna put it, we need a place to put our old people eventually. <laughs> that are shipping back to Earth or something. And then we want to go to this dome, and we are going to ban children. Uh, same thing on this one. No children. Send the children to the school. So they can grow large and get our crap working finally. We could just get a polymer factory going. Actually, we should do that. Because even if we don't turn it on, I'm pretty sure we get a milestone for it. Uh, What the hell was that? Where the hell did that come from? Say what? When the hell did it drop 1900 rare metal right beside my dome? <laughs> oh shit. Well. That's kinda sorta awesome. Huh. <laughs> Alright, well, anyway. Uh, so we'll get rid of these for now. That was more just spacing things out. We're not actually building all that. Uh, but we do need you. And you'll get power from the dome. Uh, so the reason I'm doing this is not that button. Uh, mission profile. You, this one here. If you build a machine, polymer, and electronic factory, we get a university prefab. And we actually have a space we could put it right now. Although we don't really have extra workers. But it'll be a nice thing to have kicking around so we can use it at some point, hopefully. 
Uh, shit. I forgot that we don't have service bots. Which means nobody can run this grocer. Do these guys actually need food? You know what? Let's do an experiment. We're going to blow it up. We'll see if the kids start starving. <laughs> hi, hi. Oh. There's only three tiles left. And then we just got all the deep scans. Let's start deep scanning our base here. Carry on. Uh, I already dealt with that. Kind of want them to just, even if this stuff's just limping, like without full workforces, I want them to kind of spread out. Because then we're making everything, technically. Uh, why is this not telling me how much we're producing? And our maintenance is still two. Hey, goal completed. Do we not just research this drone crap that we don't have to maintenance these anymore? Oh no, it's still going. Never mind. God damn it, we still only have two people. I wonder if. Is there something in here that we could maybe get away with? Lose health each day. We definitely don't want that. Double sanity loss from disasters. That also seems bad because we have a <laughs> we're getting pelted by disasters constantly. Um, we've already got all those guys. We definitely don't want idiots. We definitely don't want losers. Yeah, we don't want any of that. So the only potential. If we took cowards. It'd get us twelve people. Sanity is countered by health centers, which we have one in every dome, but they're turned off. You know what? Let's go out. Times be tough. Well, that only added four? Yeah, it only added four. Whatever. It's better than nothing. Let's get some more people coming. How are you guys doing? You are not bitching about anything. So, do kids just like not eat? Also, where? What were all you guys doing out there? Oh, okay. I bet you they were grabbing food. Does it have had unprepared meal? So they do need food. Hmm. Well, you know what we could do? Let's put the grocer back and let's... Let's bring the youth over here. Because youth can work jobs, can't they? We have some youth around here somewhere, don't we? Those guys, yeah, that dome has two. That one's got seven. They don't have, <clears throat> crap, they don't have anywhere to live though. Uh, so let's give them their own little tiny trailer. <laughs> Kiddo's number one. Breakthrough discovered. Woo! Breakthrough! Dome streamlining. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I know that's not working. How much does that cost? 10,000? Ah! Uh, I need our hub to finish. This research is starting to get really slow. <laughs> We're hitting the wall. We're the, we're, we don't have any more anomalies to find, really. Oh well. Uh, let's hope this plan works. 
are you gonna, are some youth gonna move over here? Oh yeah, we got four youth over here now. Sector scan. So we can open up an extra ship there. And... Yeah, whatever. They can just stay. And we have everybody in school now. Although, this is using electronics. That kind of sucks. Wow. We're just barely covering our maintenance. We're just barely covering our maintenance on that. Oh yeah, I left this thing on. Let's only... What's our maintenance on that? Point eight. Complete. Yeah, let's keep that there. Oh, we finally got autonomous hubs. Does that give us some more breathing room? Hopefully. Uh, what other cheap stuff do we got? In fact, let's get rid of that. I should really finish this. Yeah, let's kick you to the front since we're bringing people over right now. Uh, zero space computing. Research point production increased. Oh, that's awesome. It's expensive as fuck. Oh yeah, we're gonna amplify this stuff. Hey, hey! Scan all sectors milestones. Yeah, you don't have to deep scan them. Noise! Uh, what's it gonna do? Oh yeah. We're gonna... I'm gonna amplify this. And... We're also gonna amplify this. Which is gonna cost us a bunch more power, but we have 60 extra power right now. Is this thing filled up yet? Yeah, it is. Man, that holds 3,000? Jeez. What's that? Oh, those things hold 300 now. That's not so bad. Uh, let's boost this, though. Uh, that's gonna cost more machine parts, though. Man, we just... Just starving. We need machine parts and we need, uh... Electronics is pretty bad. Although our electronics, I guess we had 20 before. It's not really going up. It's just the decrease is slowed. <laughs> Actually, we're starting to get quite a few people in this dome too to be running single shifts. Maybe that's what we should do over here. Screw it. Let's... No, I want to keep you guys running, though. We're going to single shift all this stuff. We need to squeak every last worker out of this stupid colony that we can. Also, have we got rid of all the children? Yes. And yes. Sweet. So all the children are moved over here now. Which is awesome, because they'll start... Uh, getting some traits. I don't even know what those are. I should probably take a look at that. And we have more colonists! Fill the jobs! Oh, that guy's full finally. Oh, that guy's full. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Uh, I want electronics more than I want polymers. So our rocket's ready to depart, but I think I'm just going to keep it here for now. Because we do have uh, this planetary survey coming up right away, so we'll see what that gives us. Let's get some of this cheaper stuff. Because we need universities. Buffing people never hurts. Ooh. Scratch that. I want faster kids first. Then get an education. Yay! People lose flaws now. 
That'll be cool. Good. You know what? Oh shit, we can actually get five more people. People are wanting to come to Mars again. <laughs> we Let's turn this on for a second. Do we want to bring some tourists? So that'll be five colonists. As well as seven tourists. Which we'll have to ship back to Earth manually at some point. But that's okay. Yeah. Let's get let's bring some tours over. What the hell? And then before I forget, let's just turn that back on. Okay, so we got five more colonists and some tourists coming. This guy's ready to fly, but we'll wait for the research. That guy's still cruising around. Uh oh. What the hell? Why did we just lose a bunch of drones? Uh oh. Somebody hacked our drones and they attacked people? Interesting. All rivals lose funding and standing with you. Or we can just say... Who cares? <laughs> Drones are better protected. From now on. Yeah, whatever. Just fix the drones. Uh... Wow, it just like attacked completely random ones too. Whatever, salvage those. We found some deep metals near our base. So now we have metal, rare metal, metal, rare metal. So we should be good on the metal, rare metal front for a bit. This has got to be getting low. Yeah, that's getting really low. It's starting to get low too, but that's okay because we got another one right here, so that won't be too big of an issue. Concrete's a little... we're gonna have to create a big hub kind of sticking out there. Is that in range? No, of course not. I'm gonna wait a second here because our research is about to tick. So let's see what research this... Complete. Six new planetary anomalies. Okay. You... Oh, they are regular ones. Research, research, new technologies, breakthrough, research, research, really? Not a single resource? <sighs> well, there goes that plan. I don't know if we even have five botanists. Do we have five botanists? Whatever, let's do the... We'll do the breakthrough first. Let's launch that guy. I need to get him out of there, because we're going to land him back on the pad afterwards. And we're going to bring our passenger rocket back down over here. Because it can wait. We'll just let it sit here until the tourists are ready to leave. And then they can hop back on. I think it, it takes five souls. I think they hang out for five souls. So it'll be quite a while, but New we have arrived. no. Oh, look at that! Hee hee hee! It really wasn't that much money, but every little bit helps. Ooh, ooh, plasma rocket to and from Earth. Vision. Man, we're getting really garbage breakthroughs. We're getting a lot of rocket upgrades. I don't really care about rocket upgrades. Like, that's really a non-factor. <laughs> Uh, why is this saying... Why is there homeless people over here? Go to one of the other domes, you dorks. What are you guys doing? 
We only need enough people to run this. Everyone else go away. Oh, uh, you know what I think it is? Hold on. Let's go to the dome. Yeah, we're probably forcing the people over. Let's not high priority that. We'll just leave it as a neutral. Then hopefully that will balance it out that they'll only have four people there. Because we're not banning anybody from the other domes, are we? No. There, that got him shifted. Sweet. Problem fixed. What do we got here? One vacant word claw. We've almost filled it. Although this is still running at half. Sector scan. Uh, oh, we do have bow shifts going on this. That's cool. We also have a lot of colonists here. We're going to need to start opening up our second jobs here. We are... Our numbers are starting to go up, but it's very slow. Very, very, very slow. In fact, we need to almost get another... We need to get another machine power factory going, I think. We're just... Because of the wind turbines, we're using way too many machine parts right now. Go hang out over there. Alright, well... Nothing really exciting happened this episode, but... I think we're going to leave it here. I might bake this a bit, see if we can get some resources. And then, uh... We can keep trudging forward. I also want to start getting storage tanks, the bigger storage lots, but they take machine parts also. So high. So <laughs> we really need to start making a lot more machine parts. Like a lot more. But we will deal with that in the next episode and we'll continue to do these planetary anomalies as well. So until then, ta-ta!